Networking and marketing made simple is for you, the business owner who has a product, a service, or a message that you believe in. My name is Scott Aaron, and each week we'll take a behind the scenes look into the real world marketing and networking tactics and strategies for getting what you have in front of you to a lot more people. Thanks for spending time with me. And now let's get started. So before we dive in, I just want to say thank you to Spotify for, again, being my sponsor for these episodes that are coming out. And, you know, the big question that I always have for people, and Nancy and I talk about this all the time, is, you know, do you want to also have a podcast of your own? And the wonderful thing is Spotify has a platform that lets you make one from a very, very simplistic point of view and then get it out everywhere and even earn money for doing so. And it's all in one place and it's absolutely free and it's called Spotify for Podcasters. And here's a little bit of how it works. So it lets you record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer. I start on my phone, transition to my computer. So no matter what your setup is like, you can start creating right away and you can start today. Then you can get it distributed, your podcast to Spotify and everywhere else that podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are available, but also you can take your conversations with your fans to the next level. You can do Q&A, you can do polls, and this is how you can get people talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads like this, podcast subscriptions, and so much more. And best of all, it is free, no catch at all. And ever since I discovered Spotify for Podcasters, not only has it helped Nancy and I grow and scale our business, but I am well over 500,000 total listens approaching 600,000. I have people that are paying for a subscription for bonus episodes and so much more. And I cannot speak highly enough about it. You should give it a try. Download the Spotify for podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com backslash podcasters to get started today. Hey there, and welcome to another episode of networking and marketing made simple. Super excited for today's episode about three ways to stop the spam messages on LinkedIn. But before we get into that, uh, we are actually approaching, I think we're about six or seven weeks away from the opening, the official opening of our group mastermind called Expert Authority. So Nancy and I have a group coaching mastermind called Expert Authority, where we work with service professionals, uh, coaches, consultants, business owners, in how to get themselves, instead of working in their business, working on their business. Something that Nancy talks about is you can't see the label from inside the jar. So a lot of people are really scratching and clawing, and we like to throw gasoline on the fire and help people grow and scale their business the way that we have, whether that's creating courses, memberships, coaching programs, uh, a standalone product, Um, optimizing your website, starting a podcast like this, writing a book, uh, all of those things we have in one place for people. And we walk people through over a year period, how to accomplish their big three goals, whatever they are. So it is a hybrid, it's group coaching, but it's also one-on-one with myself and Nancy. Each person meets with us quarterly for 60 minutes to go over your goals. And we give you an action plan of how to accomplish that. And just one quick, uh, share Uh, We had a member join last October. Um, She was probably making close to $50,000 a year in her, in her business, um, coaching and consulting. And by the time January came around, we, you know, she implemented a strategy that we created for her. And to date, to date this year in 2023, she's on pace for a $250,000 year, five Xing where she was last year. And people have asked her, you know, how did this happen? She said, I just followed the steps of what Nancy and Scott told me to do with what I was working on. So if you are someone that is looking to up-level your business, your income, working less, working smarter, not harder, you know, really scaling what you have, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this episode where you can actually check our program out, uh, but also book a call to talk to us to see if you're a good fit. We only take 10 people. Uh, We've actually have three spots already pre-enrolled. So 
Uh, time is of the essence with this. So if you're really interested in learning how we only work three days a week and continue to grow and scale year in, year out, uh, working a small but mighty business, we would love to talk to you. So click the link below, schedule your call. Looking forward to talking to you. So now on to today's episode. So I know I'm not alone in this, but it's become abundantly clear that many new business professionals and, and entrepreneurs, I feel, have lost their way. You know, people really have forgotten the power of human touch and human interaction, but instead are deploying this spray and pray mentality of just connecting with people and messaging people on LinkedIn without a care in the world. And, you know, the only way we can make this better is by joining forces, banding together to put a stop to it. So there are three things that we can do as a community on LinkedIn to significantly reduce the amount of spam and get the spammers off of LinkedIn. So, you know, some people have seen an uptick. Some people, I guess it's the same for them, but I've seen a huge uptick. And number one, if if you're getting uh, connection requests where someone has attached a spam note attached to it, click ignore for any inbound connection request that has a drunk log spam note attached. LinkedIn deployed this feature where you can accept or ignore for protection purposes. And what this does, if enough people report that person uh, and ignore their connection request, so to speak, they will be flagged and eventually banned from the platform, which is good because they're probably using some automation software that they shouldn't be using anyway, because you're not allowed to on LinkedIn with the user agreement that we all agree to accept when we sign up for our accounts. And that is a prime example of the spray and pray methodology. So if it's a harmless connection request with a note attached, you can either accept it or leave it. But if it's really in that caliber of that person that's selling you uh, and pitching you on some sort of service, a product, uh, a program that they have, whatever it is, if you can smell the BS from a mile away in that, that note that they attach, just hit ignore. So that's the first thing. Number two, and this is a, a, a big recommendation is remove any connection request that spams you in any way possible. They're spamming you in the content that they're creating, meaning they're just creating spam content like clickbait. They are spamming you maybe commenting negative things in your content just to get a rise out of you, or they are spamming you in that initial uh, message. You know, maybe it's just a very disingenuous message. Uh, they just spam you upon you accepting their connection request or vice versa. You don't want to be connected to someone like that because here's the big thing. And I, I, I want to remind people of this. You have a due diligence and a responsibility to pr protect your network, meaning protecting your first connections what people have failed to recognize or remember is any connection request that you accept where that person ends up being a spammer you are running the risk of that person doing the same thing to all of your connections and you may be thinking well how when you accept a spammer's connection request you're giving them free reign to every single one of your connections, which is their second connections. Remember, with the free version of LinkedIn, you can send connection requests to any first connections, first connections, or second connections. So chances are, if you've accepted that person's connection request and they're spamming you, you're giving them that opportunity to spam and connect with every single one of your connections, and you don't want it coming it back to you. So my suggestion is any one of those examples, whether it's they're posting spammy content, uh, they are commenting spammy stuff in your content, or they've 
from the onset, that first initial message that they've sent to you is a spam message, just remove them as a connection. You just click on their profile, you click on more, and there'll be a little button. I think it's the third or fourth option down and you just click remove connection. Bye-bye, gone, see ya, sayonara. So that's number two. And finally, number three, block and report any connection request uh, and any profile. So block and report any profile and connection that spams you constantly through Messenger. So maybe someone might have fallen through the cracks. Maybe they send you a message and it's not as harmful as some of the other ones. And you just really felt that, you know, it's not warranted to remove the person as a connection. But you noticed after about two or three days, you get another message from this person where you haven't responded. And then two or three days later, you get another message where you haven't responded to this person. They're using uh, a messaging drip campaign, much like somebody would with an email campaign. That is someone that you want to get off of this platform. You want to get them off. So you do want to report and block those types of profiles because they're actually going above and beyond. They're not just sending just one spam message. They're sending multiple spam messages. So if something is falling into that category where it's egregious, it's a little bit over the top or very much over the top, you're going to click on the person's profile. You're going to click on the more button at the top of their profile. And you're going to click one of the last options, which is report and block. So it blocks the person so they can't connect with you ever again. They can't find you, but it also reports their profile to LinkedIn. So it puts them on watch. And if enough of us report these spammers, guess what? We can send them back to wherever they came from, whether it was Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, wherever, because we want to keep LinkedIn professional. We want to keep it safe. We want to keep it as a great community builder, not a place where we're getting sold and pitched to all the time. This is where we go to network, connect, collaborate, share business ideas, and grow our businesses together. So again, click ignore for any connection request that has a spam note attached. That's number one. Number two, remove any connection. Remove any connection request that spams you in the initial message. You don't have to block them, just remove them. And number three, block and report any profile that spams you multiple times constantly through Messenger, just like an email campaign. Report them, block them, delete them, get rid of them. Now, as a reminder, just want to... I uh, want you to, to know, again, if you are interested in learning how to grow and scale your business and your income to new heights in our high-level mastermind, where we work with 10 individuals in group and one-on-one -on -one settings, where you have all the tools, the keys to the castle to really take your business to the next level, I invite you to click on the link in the description, visit our website, check out Expert Authority, and book a call so you can grab one of the remaining spots. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Love and gratitude, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you so much again for checking out today's episode. And if you are listening through iTunes, Spotify, wherever you are, Please leave me a rating and review. Let me know what you loved, what you would like to see improved, or ideas you have for future episodes. And if you are interested in taking your business to the next level, don't hesitate to go to my website, www.scotterron.net, where you can schedule a free discovery call with me, where I can learn more about you, your business, what you're struggling with, and how we can work together. And don't forget to check out my wife, Nancy, and mine, our free community on Facebook called LinkedIn Leads for Life. We would love to see you in there. Have a great rest of your day. And thank you, everyone, for your support. Grateful for each and every one of you.